KSC presents A family heard hissing in the walls of their home and they soon found the cause of the sound. Lying awake late at night in a new family home, Ben and Amber sessions tossed and turned unable to rest. The parents should have been happy and content in their dream Idaho abode, but sleep was eluding them. The reason strange hissing noises were emanating from the walls. Everyone knows that housing is usually the single largest financial cost for any family. So when Ben and Amber shelled out less than $180,000 for their sizable new home, they thought they were grabbing a bargain. The property had five bedrooms and so easily met the needs of their growing clan. It all seemed too good to be true. However, that's exactly what this house proved too good to be true. Now, you may think a home of this size at such as a low price would come with disclaimers attached. But Ben and Amber said their realtor did everything he could to convince them of the building's legitimacy. Despite rumors the couple had heard to the contrary. Nevertheless, after moving into what they believed was their dream home, the sessions endured a living hell. Over the course of three months, their lives were disrupted by what was lurking in the walls. Contrary to their realtor's claimed assurances, Ben Amber and their two young children had a massive problem on their hands that rendered their dream property practically worthless. Indeed, the couple were forced to abandon the house as their daily lives began to resemble a horror movie. In fact, Ben feared for the health of his pregnant wife and children throughout their ordeal. What's more, the expectant mom likened the situation to living in a Satan's lair. So just how did their dream turn into a nightmare? It had all started so presumingly. The sessions a new home had about two acres of land for their two boys to explore. And if that wasn't enough, located approximately 125 miles northeast of their property was Yellowstone National Park. There were plenty of opportunities for adventures for Ben and Amber's growing family. Furthermore, a large portion of Rexburg's nearly 10 square mile area was built upon a shield volcano. Now, when you think of volcanoes, you may envision large, mountainous craters like the US's own Mount Saint. Helen's or Italy's Mount Vesuvius and Mount Etna, however, shield volcanoes are not so majestic. A shield volcano forms from a more liquid lava which spreads farther before it cools and hardens. Its profile is far lower than a stratovolcano. In fact, the region is well known for its volcanic geography. The craters of the Moon National Monument is just three hours from Rexburg and offers an insight into the area's varied volcanic activity. But what particular relevance does being built on volcanic terrain have to the situation with the session's home? Well, maybe none, nor necessarily did the Great Flood of June 1976 have a large bearing. A Rexburg Museum tells the story of how the city was devastated by a flood. When the nearby Teton Dam burst with much of the area submerged for days following the disaster, but perhaps a combination of these geographical factors helped to create the root of the session's problem. Ben and Amber Sessions moved into their new home in the late summer of 2009, and although there was plenty of space for their two boys to run around in, it wasn't long before the parents realized they didn't want them roaming far unattended. From the start something seemed off about the property. For starters, there seemed to be something wrong with water. It gave off a putrid smell. Then there was the grass in the yard, which moved as if it had a life of its own. It wasn't an inviting place for the session's kids to play. When as an experiment band struck the house's roof with a length of wood, 
it appears to spark a distinct of unseen commotion inside. Doubtless, the noise of this movement against the aluminum was unsettling. But worst of all was the hissing at night which kept the couple awake. The sound of unwanted lodgers pervading their home. Ben was undertaking some yard work one day, building a chicken run. Pulling up a sheet of metal, he got a shock as a couple of snakes glided away. In the next few days, the homeowner noticed more and more of the reptiles around the grounds. He'd put them in buckets, gathering dozen at a time. As it turned out, the session's new home was infested with garter snakes. So heavy was their presence in the yard that sometimes that the grass would appear to move off its own volition. There were literally hundreds of the reptiles scattered around their property, from its lawn to its roof and crawl spaces. Some snakes had even taken up residence inside the property's walls. As previously described, when Ben had bashed the roof overhang with a piece of wood, the noise he had heard was the sound of the snakes, scales brushing against metal as they slithered away. When he popped the side in, it revealed dozens of reptiles residents inside the walls. The homeowner also bravely entered the crawl space to investigate the extent of the problem. Yes, the creatures were everywhere. It was like living in one of those horror movies, Ben described to New Agency Associates Press in June 2011. Indeed, the infestation was a lot for anyone to endure. But for the couple's two young boys, the effects were especially traumatic. The situation affected their sleep, and the situation also had an impact on their leisure time. Amber described to a local news station how her kids started to have nightmare about snakes. When they settled into drawing, the result would be pictures of the reptile pouncing on them around the house and as they slept. The whole family feared walking around the property barefoot in case a snake bit them. Every morning Ben would get up before his wife and kids. He would perform a morning sweep around the house to check if any snakes had got in during the night, removing any offenders, but as the numbers increased heading into the winter, the situation grew intolerable for the Sessions family. Things came to a head when Amber, who was heavily pregnant, was doing the laundry, then heard her scream as she nearly stepped on an unwelcome guest. I was terrified she was going to miscarry. Her husband explained, with the number of the snakes increasing, recently Ben had tackled 42 snakes in just one day. He realized things couldn't go on like this anymore. The sessions eventually left their so-called dream home just three months after they moved in. However, with their newborn daughter only one day old, there was nothing they could do. There was a document with their name on saying they had known about the problem before they bought the house. They were forced to declare bankruptcy. It was just so stressful. Amber recalled, it felt like we were living in Satan's lair. That's the only way to really explain it. The house was taken over by JP Morgan Chase and briefly returned to the market for the reduced price of $114,900 a year later. Ben developed a form of PTSD post-traumatic stress disorder caused by their ordeal. His view remains simply, it's not right to continue to sell this home. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.